Come fat, where fat boy stay. Hey, good rising, good rising, big city 101.3 FM. How are you, darling? I am feeling some type of way. It is freaky Friday. Hallelujah. Okay, okay. Let's talk about it. 617-282-0062. Let's talk about yesterday. Let's talk about the gentleman that called in. Um, how do I feel as far as that is concerned? I feel like if that gentleman who called in yesterday who drives up and down the East Coast 1,400 miles a week, I think he doesn't listen to the show enough. And I feel, I went back and listened to a few other shows. I think he's the guy who called a few months back who told me the reason why I don't make $100,000 a year when I was in reference to the Keolis worker who made $300,000 a year um, and the MBTA workers making $100,000 a year. I think he's the one that called in and was just like, you don't make $100,000 a year because you're a moron or an imbecile or some, something like that. I think he's the same one. I pinned both of the voices together. <laughs> I was anal yesterday. But I could see if we didn't have city councilors, state representatives, the governor, the police commissioner, the mayor. I could understand where he was coming from if these weren't conversations that we had on a regular basis. I could understand where he was coming from if we don't discuss what's going on in the city on a regular basis. I could understand where he was coming from had we not had a week-long conversation on education. Should I go down the list of names of people that have been on the show that have done nothing more but educate not only myself, but the listeners? I would feel some type of way if I didn't have city officials, elected city officials, coming to my anniversary, presenting me with awards of thank you for what you do for the city. I think I would feel some type of way if he actually had some ground to stand on. But the quicksand that we allowed him, I allowed him yesterday, did nothing but bury him and show his true ignorance because maybe you really don't listen to the show if all you have or all you understood was <laughs> the fact that my dialect is not clear enough for you. So aside from that, um, when it comes to me having conversations with you, the listeners, me having conversations with you, the listeners, is completely different than me having conversations with a business owner. So if you're still listening, I hope you're listening because I need you to understand something. I'm a writer and I'm understanding that in my writing, I'm not like, um, there's some rappers that can freestyle. I'm not a freestyler. I'm a writer. I'm gonna go down and sit down and come back and when I come back you have problems when I'm with my people I can talk to my people the way that they understand when I'm out and I have to act like a chameleon and blend into certain environments I do that when need be 
But right now, where I am, where I stand, I don't need to speak in full sentences to appease you because I'm not here for you. If you don't like it, you don't have to listen. You drive 1,500 miles up and down the eastern seaboard. That's perfectly fine. Listen to what you want to listen to. But I want to say this. You took your time out to listen and, and give I feel like it was you were trying to be constructive at one time. It just didn't work out for you in the end. So please continue to listen. And I hope that we find some way to appease you uh, by accident. Because nothing about this show is going to change to make you feel better about yourself. With that being said, in the news... I had an awesome day yesterday. I'm sorry. Yesterday was just a, a beautiful day. Um, <laughs> Nestle, do you guys remember the stories that I told you about Nestle? Um, Nestle going into cities and towns, um, even heading over to India, dr buying land, drilling a hole in that land, and stealing the water from that land, and then leaving everybody in the area with absolutely nothing as far as the natural resource of water is concerned, they put it in a bottle, slap a label on it, and tell you, here, buy it. So Nestle is in some trouble, again, issuing a recall for DiGiorno, Lean Cuisine, and Stouffer's products. If you have any, any, any of these products in your refrigerator, please be mindful. DiGiorno Pizza, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno, Lean Cuisines, or Stouffer's. Nearly 3 million boxes of frozen DiGiorno pizzas, Stouffer's lasagnas, and lean cuisine meals are being recalled after customers said they found pieces of glass in their food, according to reports. So this is like, there's been some companies in the past that are like, listen, we need to recall this because XYZ took place. We really want to fix this. Let's get ahead of this. These are customers calling Nestle, and Nestle had to recall after people complained. Um, so I'm wondering where the problem was, who didn't report the problem, and why are the customers informing you of issues going on in your plant instead of you knowing what's going on. So Nestle USA, the company behind the brand, said no injuries have been reported. The food maker said that the glass may have come, may have come, from the spinach used in a recall pro Huh? Huh? <laughs> I'm sorry, I have a little common sense. The food maker says the glass may have come from the spinach used in a recall product. What does that have to do with spinach and glass? Those, I'm not understanding. Did the spinach come in a glass container? It said that the investigation is ongoing. The recall covers about 2.98 million individual boxes, including four varieties of DiGiorno pizzas, the five types of lean cuisine meals, four Stouffer's lasagnas, and one Stouffer's spinach souffle. Nestle USA listed each recalled product on its website. Who goes to the Nestle website? This is why it's important for you guys to know these stories because I've never been to any of the food products websites that I went to, unless they have a special going on, unless they have a coupon going on, or unless something on the box says, go to our website for XYZ. If you need to, uh, I'll go ahead and post this on the Wake Up With Taylor Andre page so you can, if you have these products in your refrigerator, you can look at the date, you can look at uh, the information and see from there if uh, there's a correlation with what you have and, um, and what's on these boxes. In other news, uh, New York man freed in 91 killing case called systematic failure. So according to reports, a New York man in prison for a quarter of a century has been freed after a review of his case found his lawyer was never told that the key witness identified someone else as the killer. Andre Hatchett applauded as a judge reversed his conviction on Thursday. The 49-year-old had been serving 25 years to life in the killing of Nadia May Carter. She was found dead, naked, beaten, and dragged in the park February of 1991. Brooklyn prosecutors and Hatchett's lawyers say their review of the case has also found that Hatchett was on crutches in February of 91, which would have made it difficult for him to carry out the crime that went unmentioned at the trial. Hatchett hugged his relatives on the way out of court and said that he felt strong and whole. A New York man in prison for a quarter century for murder is back on track 
but what about the rest of his life? It says nowhere in this report that he will be compensated for the fact that 25 years of his life was taken away from him. Reports are calling this a systematic failure. Um, and where's the solution? He's one of thousands. And let us let, let us go back to Dothan, Alabama when I told you that there's police officers that were planting, were caught planting, like they, they are guilty, found guilty of planting evidence on black and brown people in Dothan, Alabama, and they got promoted. One got promoted into pol to police chief and the other one got promoted to um, Homeland Security of that area. And it, it's sickening because there's over a thousand men and women that are still in jail for whatever these individuals planted on their vehicles in their homes. Newark orders 30 schools to shut down after water fountains are found with lead in them. Hey, Newark, come to Boston. We'll teach you how to do it. We got plenty of schools that have lead in our pipes. <laughs> we send kids to school every day. On Wednesday, Newark ordered 30 schools, almost half of its school buildings, to shut down their water fountains after lead was discovered in the water. The water was reportedly being contaminated by lead inside the schools and not from the city's water department. The school system informed the State Department of Environmental Protection, the EPA, of the test results on Monday since the announcement water bottles and coolers have been delivered to the schools affected. Pause. You just don't wake up one day and your pipes have lead in them. How long has this lead been in the pipes and how long have these babies been drinking this lead? The mayor, Ross Baraka, assured residents that the lead contamination was not comparable to the water crisis in Flint, Michigan, saying at a press conference on Wednesday, I understand in the Flint environment that any sign of elevation is going to make everyone go haywire. But here, the system water in Newark is still safe and it's still drinkable. In the vast majority of cases where lead is found in drinking water, it enters enters through the water's delivery system in itself when it leaches from either lead pipes, household fixtures containing lead, or lead solder. The crisis uh, has exposed an estimated of 6,000 to 12,000 children to lead. That's a huge gap. Lead exposure at a young age can lead to intellectual and physical disabilities in children. A lot of our buildings are old, Baraka said. That speaks to infrastructure, the reason why we need new schools. There are 35,054 students across the 66 schools in Newark public school system, which is one of the largest and oldest school systems in New Jersey. Black and Hispanic students comprise 99% uh, of the school district's population. We're going to finish. We're going to follow this story because I, I'm really interested if they're going to come back and say, oh, wow, what we didn't know was, you know, the lead in the pipes have been there for years and there's something that needs to be done. What we're going to do is because we can't just you know, break down the water system. We're just going to leave it the way that it is. We're going to take a page out of uh, Boston's book and we'll figure it out one way or another. Because when you think about it, how many of our buildings have lead in it? Our children go to school every single day. Think about it. Think about it. Big City 101.3 FM, waking up with Taylor Andre. Um, I'm having a technical difficulty. Give me five seconds. I'll be right back. I feel it. I feel it. I put my chains on this one, you know what I'm saying? I feel it. Now you're flashing, you're flashing, Which way you at? Which way you at? I feel it. Your love is fading. I feel it. She wanna see the blood early come back where a fat boy stay. I told her, bring a couple girls for a bunch of dumb bullets and bang. These girls really want to get nasty, and I don't know none of their names. Want to drink, like a smoke, good weed, but I'm going to need a Gatorade. Uh, cause of yeah, gas, downstairs, tripping with the music and the loud beat smoke. Set down, a hundred in the bottle, as a you better not snitch, no. Live fast, enjoy everything.
every moment cause just last year I was broke Orange Gatorade gave my sobriety while I'm giving out backstrokes uh, Round one, round two, round three, no bull, you only get two piece, no bull That's really all you want from me, your girls at the door, please come to me Thick thighs, fat butt, slim waist, little bit of cheap, but I'm on a boat face Heard the kitty cat roar when I went deep, she would have let us swim pool when I'm ten feet she won it. I feel it deep inside, deep, deep down inside. Okay, so Taqua sent me a message to talk about locally. We have Sean Drumgold and Sean Ellis, both of whom served over a decade, and Sean two decades, respectively, on false number of charges. How many more are still locked up right here in the aftermath of the DA of Newman Flanagan? Taqua, you should have called us with that one. You should have called us. Uh, man who assaulted black protester at the Trump rally. Next time, we might have to kill him, he said. On Thursday, a video of a black protester being sucker punched at a Trump rally began to circulate on social media. Saw the video anywhere and everywhere. Uh, even if you're not on social media, somebody showed you the video. Uh, on Thursday, according to reports, the man, John McGraw, has been charged with assault and disorderly conduct. McGraw told reports shortly after the incident that Jones deserved it. He also took it one step further. The next time we see him, we might have to kill him. We don't know who he is, but we might be. He might be with a terrorist organization. You might be the terrorist organization. In the video, an African-American man is being escorted out of the rally to the chorus of booze from the gathered rally goers in North Carolina. The man, Rakeem Jones, was being led out by authorities when he was suddenly punched in the face out of nowhere by a man in a cowboy hat. Jones stumbled up the steps and then is taken down and handcuffed by handcuffed by officers. Jones told reports that uh, he and a group of three others had attended the rally as a social experiment. The group included a white woman, a Muslim man, a gay man. Uh, he insisted that no one in our group attempted to get physical and that most had a and that the most that had happened was that the woman in the group began shouting at the rally. When Jones woke up the next morning, he was surprised to see himself on video on social media. Boom, he caught me, Jones said uh, in reports in a telephone interview. After I get it, before I could even gain my thoughts, I'm on the ground being escorted out. Now I'm waking up this morning looking at the news and I'm seeing me get hit all over again. Hey, he was arrested. He was charged with assault and the thing, okay, if you saw the video, the thing that pissed me all the way off was if you look at the video, the man is walking up the stairs. He gets sucker punched. There's a man right behind him and then two officers directly behind. So there's one man behind him and two police officers. And the police officers walk past the man that hit him in the face. Just walk past him and then proceeded to put this man in handcuffs. If you didn't see the video, I'll go ahead and post it on the Wake Up With Taylor Andre page. Um, Corona and Nestle may be, um, 
maybe partners because selected Corona bo beer bottles voluntarily recall due to glass particles. The vast majority of Corona extra products are not affected by this recall, according to reports, and no injuries have been reported. But um, there is a recall of select Corona extra 12 packs and 18 packs that may contain small particles of glass. Uh, the affected beer product was distributed only in the United States of America. The company estimates the issue to affect about one in every 5,000 bottles, impacting less than one tenth of the percent of Corona Extra 12 ounce clear bottles in the marketplace. Consumers may check the eight digit alphanumeric code printed on the side of the panel, cardboard carton, 12 packs, 18 packs, or on the neck of the Coronas. I'll go ahead and post this on the Wake Up With Taylor Andre page so you can go ahead and get you a new case, <laughs> a new case uh, before this weekend starts. We have a call on the line, 617-282-0062, and then you know what it is. Power Hour, good rising call you live. I forgot to lose the investigating body, but they said they are going to investigate the officers. I always find it funny when you got to investigate something that's kind of on the video thing. However, though I, I hate what happened to that guy, I think people have got to stop being stupid revolutionary. Like, stop going to Trump rally. Register our people to vote. That's how we fight. Here's another thing to stop doing. Stop enlisting in wars. But I don't care if people teams will go to foreign countries and fight for this country. They come here and they want to say You ain't going to die for your own people then, <laughs> then you're a punk. I, I can't stand these punk revolutionaries. I mean, they'll go suit up and go fight another war. They come over here and want to march and sing. Like, stop it. I remember you just shove it. Don't do anything. You look mm -hmm. stupid. Thank you, Mr. Nubian. For those who don't know, that's Mr. Nubian. Um, Takwa had a little typo. He said, locally, we have Sean Drumgold and Sean Ellis, both of whom served over a decade, and Sean two decades, respectively, on false murder charges. How many more are still locked up right here in the aftermath of D.A. Newman Flanagan? So I wanted to make sure that was clear. Um, really quickly, in other news, where is that report? I wanted to make sure you guys get um, Yale apologizes for the hurt we have caused in supporting captain uh, expelled after rape accusations. Yale University's basketball team captain Jack Monteague was expelled. Decision came after students made complaints of sexual assault against him. His team were accused of supporting rape culture and they wore arm ups uh, with his number and nickname and posters erected around the school with the message that we don't support rapists. Basketball team has now apologized for the hurt that we have caused. Pause. This is an entire, this is a problem across America when it comes to rape culture, when it comes to these athletes uh, doing what they want for years and having absolutely no repercussions because they are a dollar sign. They need to be on that court making money for the school instead of the school taking uh, responsibility for the actions of their player and making sure that the woman or the people that were sexually assault aren't victims on campus being looked at sideways. It just, it makes no sense. Remember the young lady, this was like two years ago. You have to be a real listener to know this story. But remember the girl from about two years ago who was raped and the school never did anything so she carried her mattress with her to every class? She even graduated. Uh, this year she graduated. I think I read the report back in um, last year, 2015. She graduated and walked across the stage with her mattress. Love it. Absolutely love it. We have one more minute. FBI tells teachers to inform, inform us, please. Let us know on students who express anti-government political beliefs as high schools are ideal targets for extremist recruiters. I feel like George Orwell's 1984 because how you want teachers, you want teachers to inform you if a child has anti-government ideals with everything that's going on, that's damn near every student in Boston right now that does not believe in the Boston police. So I did, um, I did a survey with Bison. You guys remember Bison? They have 16 organizations here in Boston to help our urban youth. And we did a survey. Do you trust the police? When I tell you those numbers came out, these young people do not trust the police. They do not believe in the police. They won't call the police. And the survey was pretty clear. We don't like the police. And it's just, 
is that not anti-government idealist? So I, I'm, as a teacher, I'm just su supposed to report my entire class because they don't believe in the structure of government we currently have. But I do understand if you have a child that's drawing up ISIS and bomb America, that I get. But this is a very slippery slope. Good rising caller, you're live. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm well. How are you? Shut your radio off for me. Yep. Uh, sorry about that, Taylor. Um, okay. So you brought up an incident two years ago at Harvard, at Harvard, where the woman walked across the stage with her mattress. I wasn't Forgot to Harvard. bring up the the one that happened in Duke with Jackie, who completely lied and got four men tossed off the lacrosse team because she lied about what happened. I mean, this is a problem on both sides when you talk about rape culture. As far as the EL case goes, nothing has ever been said. The accusation of rape wasn't really investigated. It was just expelled and thrown off the team. There hasn't been a police investigation, which I think is part and parcel to the problem. These universities need to stop acting like they're an investigative agency because their burden of proof is far lower than the criminal justice system. Absolutely. See, that's a recipe for disaster is on this both him? sides. It's a recipe for things going under It kind of sounds like It's a like recipe him. for being over aggressive towards what is considered the perpetrator. I, I understand that. But at the same time, we as a society have a problem where we don't address rape at all. Do you know how many women are in the military that are sexually assaulted? And we also read a report probably about six months ago about the number of men, the rising number of men being sexually assaulted in the military. And I'm going to say that here. <laughs> And it, it's an ongoing problem, and I don't remember the exact number, but I believe it was over 75% of the the cases that came forth were never even taken a trial. It was, they were never settled. It was like, ah, uh, well, it's kind of your word against their word. So how about we just diffuse the problem, everybody stay away from everybody else. And it's over 75%. I'll try and find the report again, but they never even take it to trial. The victim never even feels like I can close that door of my life because this person never got any justice. What is, what, uh, um, I think the harder part, well, right, legally getting justice. I completely understand that. Uh, that should be on both sides. I think, I that's, mean, that. well, I think that's our Rhode Island listener. People who listener. falsely accuse others of rape. And yeah, then I think that that's our Rhode Island life listener. Is destroyed. Case in point, football player in Southern California blew four years of his life on a false accusation. Yes. Now, does he get any recourse on that? No, he didn't. Right now, what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing from you is, is that you're on the pro woman side, which is absolutely true because these are really bad things and they happen far more frequently to women than, than in the reverse. However, when a woman gets pissed off at a man because things didn't go her way or however she perceived they were going to go, she accuses them of rape, then she destroys that man, that man's life for whatever period of time. What type of recourse does he get on that? Mm. He gets nothing. He gets, uh, we're sorry. Here you go. Get out of jail. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, so in my opinion, I totally agree. Here, I'm with you as far as the, the colleges should not be, college and universities should not be taking the investigative approach on this. They do need to open their doors and allow the police to do their job. And I think that there we will find the best result for both parties. Because even still, um, uh, aside from sexual assault, there was the 16-year-old that had a very promising career in football that had sex with his girlfriend and now is a sex offender and had his whole life ripped away from him. So, I, you know, there's a few issues and problems in that dynamic that need to be worked on. But is this my guy from Rhode Island? No, I'm from Southern Massachusetts, but uh, I call. I usually call you with, like, the science and, and tech stuff when, when you bring out, like, uh, the uh, you're talking about um, infectious disease testing or not. I'm the one who calls up, and I'm like, hey, you got to laugh down the street. <laughs> oh, I, I do remember that. You know that they say um, they say that they have the third case of the Zika virus in Massachusetts, and I, I don't even remember the first one or the second one, but there's now three cases in Massachusetts of the Zika virus, and they're saying that the Zika virus is now seriously linked to sexual contact, where before it was like, oh, is a possibility. Now they're saying, listen, the, it's, it's linked. It's a sexually transmitted disease. That doesn't surprise me. Lots of viruses have a 
good ability to replicate and get out there in many areas um, in the body. Be from going from something get that's mosquito born, obviously blood born, to being sexually transmitted. That's not really a huge jump. Um, I mean, you know, there's lots of exchange of blood and body fluid throughout a, a sexual act. Um, um, that that doesn't that doesn't surprise me. Here's oh. another one that maybe in your spare time you might want to take a look at. Um, it's called RSV. Uh, it's a respiratory virus. People think they have the common cold, except you have a respiratory virus for three to four weeks. Easy one. Um, it affects children a lot more than it does adults, but adults have that lingering cough and stuffiness, you know, for up to a month when there's no real rhyme or reason as to it's not like really following a viral or bacterial course. Um, so that might be something else you want to take a quick look at in your spare time. Did you want to know what's crazy about this is I think my kid's father had this because he had an ongoing cough for like seven months and nobody could figure out all the doctors. Nobody could figure out what it was. I'm going to definitely take a look at this. Thank you so much. You know, I love and appreciate you and I hope you have an awesome day today, right? You too, Sally. You have a great weekend, all right? All right. Thank you, baby. Big City 101.3 FM, waking up with Taylor Andre, Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 7. I'll make sure I'll get all of these stories on the Wake Up With Taylor Andre page for you um, with a special one about Apple. Dun, dun, dun. We have a guest in the building. You want to know who he is? Let me tell you who he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Deep inside, deep, deep down inside, I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Your love is saying. She wanna come back where fat boy stay. Come on. Put, put it on go. your lip. Okay. We here. Go ahead. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go, Taylor. I'm gonna need a get a Make it orange. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. I feel it. I feel it. Uh -huh. Can can I get some? Come on. You got me over here cheesing. I'm sorry. I'm in the zone <laughs> right now. I'm listening, I'm listening to it for the first time. <laughs> I love this song. No boo. Three's company. Hey, get my two real quick. But a mother boat face. Uh -huh. Deep inside, deep, deep down inside. There it is. Who's this popping out? Who's this coming out? Oh, you mean my brother? That's Mr. Prince Rich. Shout out, Rich. Let's go, baby. You know who it is. Uh -huh. You hear that voice? That boy, he should be on radio. Boy got the voice for radio. I wish he would do radio. For real. Uh huh. Y'all want to know what power hour is? Wait for it. Wait for he it. Just comes in and crush it. I give it to a guarantee and mess a life Let's up. Let's go. But if I do, baby, me the wife up. Baby girl, I put it down. Uh -huh. I'ma go extra. Fly boy, you don't want your girl to get next to. Hey. I'll put a finger in the butt right now. Say what? Big City 101.3 <laughs> FM. Waking up with Taylor Andre. We got cost in the building. Prince Rich couldn't make it. I'll put a finger in the butt right now. Right now. Power hour. Power hour. Power hour. Six one seven two eight two zero zero six two. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got one for the um. Tell them who you are, Cos. What's up, everybody? This is Cos. A lot of my people know me as Coach Cassine from the Rogers. Uh, big shout out to everybody at the Rogers. They shut us down, but we still alive, baby. Hold on, Coach Cassine be making nasty songs like that. They know. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold on, I got one. Kick and she back though. Kick and she back though. Is it acceptable? Is it okay for a man, ladies? I'm talking to you. For a man to stick his finger in your 
during sex. Mm. It's Freaky Friday. Better not bring your kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Has it happened before? Would you let it do? Would you let them do it? And I already know that there's gonna be a slew of messages coming in my inbox because nobody wants to be transparent and call 617-282-0062. Where's Prince Rich at? Because he said I'll put a finger in a butt right now. I want to know if he be putting fingers in booties. He probably would. He better roll with hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Some dial, <laughs> some antibacterial soap. Talking that big one from the 99 cent store. Real. You're an, you're a <laughs> Have you ever put your? Is it? Hold on. Can a female do it to a man? Yo, she better not. What do you mean? She How you get to not. do things to me? I can't do it to you. Mm -hmm. Kung Fu City, spin kicking. If you kiss me, then I kiss you back. Yeah, kiss. Yeah, but if you stick your finger in, I get to do it back. I whoop your beat. No. <laughs> Come on, guys. We have to have. What about? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I was. I talked to a few people about this subject, and what I heard was, okay. I have a friend okay. who said that she doesn't stick her finger in, but she does like massage around it. For real? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Why is that crazy? I mean, like honestly, the first time I heard something like that was on the movie. I forget which one. Uh, road trip. Dude was talking about um, building his prostate. That's actually like that. You're supposed to. No. Yeah, prostate yeah. cancer is real. And what do you think they do in order to prevent prostate cancer? They milk your prostate. It wasn't. It was um. Oh was my God. no! It was um the boys that Stifler. Yeah. Stifler, oh, that was that yes. one. Yes. Remember okay, she okay, put okay, the glove okay. on. Right. 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 And then right, right, from right. there, he wanted everybody to yeah. milk his prostate. He was like three. He was three. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if there's any dudes that are gonna admit to this. There's not gonna be a man to no, admit. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna judge. I'm you so better not. This is a judge-free zone, cops. I know, but people are so judgmental. And I, you know, I'm doing no, judge-free right. zone. All right. All right, I'm just gonna make the face. I'm just gonna make the face. That's Don't do that. All right, I'm not gonna. No, I'm gonna make the face. I'm definitely making. Uh-oh, uh-oh, so they're already coming in, T-A-Y-L-A-A-N-D-R-E. Go ahead and send them, the, tell them you're on Facebook so they can send you messages. Because I already knew. I knew nobody was going to be transparent with this one. Oh, yeah. My, my Facebook is Kasim, K-A-S-I-M, Kas, K-A-S, last name Shavis, S-H-A-V-I-S. Kasims? Let's say it right. Kasim, Kasim, Kasim? Kasim, Kas, Shavis. Spell it one more time. K A S I M K A S S H A V I S. Mm. There it is. And what about that Instagram? Hold on, you don't even know your Instagram? Stop your judge. I thought this was a judge free zone just now. Lord, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I got another anonymous. Men do the poking. If you poke me, if I poke you, you can't poke me back. Wear the hanging three piece round hair. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? We hanging. wear the hanging three piece round hair. Hanging three piece? I don't know. I'm lost now. That might be a typo. That's foreign. He said there is no three pieces around here. Okay. Yeah, that's foreign. Taylor, don't snitch on me. I told you. <laughs> I didn't say your name. You're anonymous. Damn. Yes, I do rub on the outside, but he would kill me if I even thought about sticking my finger in. A lot of men don't want to admit it, but they like it. Man. See, you learn something new every time I listen to your show. Straight what up. do you mean? Yo, know, straight up. I learn something every time I listen to your show. She said that he likes he likes it when she licks it, too. Just got real. That, that tossing real. salad is a real thing. Tossing salad is a very real thing. Tossing salad is very real. It's um, it's like its own category. Oh, yeah. On, uh, yeah. I'm not going to say it. Yeah, right, don't do it. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> it's my favorite board site, though. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got a, I got a couple lined up, too. I got a couple lined up. Tasty box. Mm, oh, shoot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Taylor, I'm listening, and I can't believe you just said that. Men, 
men, of course they like it. They aren't going to admit it. No one's going to admit it. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't get one phone call because girls won't even like to admit that they too enjoy fingers on their backside. Yeah. Mm -mm. Men do the poking. If I poke you, you can't poke me back. Wear the hanging three piece around here. That's two huevos and a bat. I'm with him. I'm with him. That means nothing. That's it. That means nothing. Yes, it's a one way street on that. Yeah, Nobody wants to cut 617 282 0062. Somebody hit me up was like, Taylor, be, be transparent, Taylor, be transparent. I don't want to be transparent. Listen, if I be transparent, you promise to be transparent. You promise to call up here and tell some truth. I promise to tell the truth. Yeah, you can't plead the fifth if you call up here. Mm -hmm. it happened. You know what? I'm a man. I'm a man. And I had it done before. Uh-oh. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. I'm a man. I had it done before. I was drunk and she took advantage of me and she told me that I liked it. She even recorded it and I felt he felt like he may have been homosexual. Oh, man. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Keep reading. She made me feel like I was homosexual. And then she asked me if she could try it when I wasn't drunk, since I did like it when I was drunk. And that was the truth serum. So I let her try it. And I have to say that I'm going to have to marry this girl because nobody else can know my secret. <laughs> <laughs> that better be a hell of a ring. <laughs> hey, she she already did the ring. What? The ring around yeah, the ring, rosy. Yeah, she went ring around and ring in. <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing wrong with it, cuz. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, you know it's, me personally, this ain't me. You know what I'm saying? It's just not me. I know a couple people, you know. They've had some, they do some crazy stuff, but it just ain't me. You know what? I just looked up the um, the milking of the prostate and how long does it take. And it's actually orgasmic. And you can, a man could actually have an orgasm by having his prostate milk. Where's my nurses at? Because I know my nurses are listening. A mangasm? A mangasm. Really? In the anal. Yeah. It's the best kept secret to male pleasure. Pass. This is gonna this is gonna be on magazines this. in a minute. Wait for it. Somebody's gonna put it in their song, it's gonna be bad. And then everybody's gonna try it. Nothing on earth feels as good as a pea spot massage. I mean nothing. Nothing, by the way. A P-spot is another name for the prostate gland. It, the reason it feels good is because a guy's prostate that, and the anal cavity in general is a very sensitive area full of nerves and um, full of nerve endings. And with the sensitivity, a sexual pleasure reaches an entirety new level. Hold on. A message. When my girlfriend does it for me, it's mind-blowing experience. It's like she short circuits my brain. Um, she told me that when she hits my spot, I get really quiet. My eyes roll back in my head and my mouth drops open and I go catatonic. <laughs> he said, I don't realize what's going on around me. It just feels really good. And I'm completely focused on the incredible sensation. Bam. Those are real messages right now? These are real messages right now. I'm telling you, anonymous is, is the real deal. Nobody wants to call in, but they'll be anonymous yeah, all day. Anonymous, yeah. As long as I don't, you know, I got to keep anonymous anonymous because if I snitch, there, there's all the trust yeah, in the world. No, no I won't. No snitching. No snitching. For me, when it's done right, I have a, her a huge urge to pee, but I never do. I have literally... Oh my God, this is like I'm um, squirting for men. This is getting crazy. Squirting for men? This is like squirt. This yes. Is ejaculation, eh? No. Okay, there. fine. I'll be transparent. Get up in there, you know what I'm saying? Get your ugly on real quick. <clears throat> squirt. This could work for men. I don't know. How would you sell this? How can I sell this? Because there's a like, these messages are from men that have had their prostate massaged and came off of it. This is scary. Keep those messages coming. All anonymous. 
hit me up. I want to know from a female's perspective, from a male's perspective, fingers in a booty. I'll put a finger in the butt right now. I want to know so if these things. See what you started. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me, when it's done right, I have a huge urge to pee, but I never do. I have literally no control when I come. It just happens. I found it's the best way to enjoy and then relax and just let it happen. A lot of people have a stigma about having fingers around their backside, but men, you have to open up. Pun intended. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's hilarious. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I'm when I'm getting close to climaxing, I feel a very warm feeling that comes over me at this point. That's how I know that I'm close. Men need to open their minds a little bit. We are so stigmatic to hands or fingers or anything being around our backside. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say backside because they use other words. Oh, okay. um, all you have to do is relax. As long as the woman knows what she's doing, I promise you will enjoy it. Tell Casa, I said, what's up? Never mind, don't tell him anything, because then he'll know it's me. I'm going to say what up, though. I'm pounding everybody. Everybody gets a pound. Nobody gets a full hand shake. <laughs> Not anymore. Nah, you pounding. just do the elbow, though. Nah. Just do the elbow. Right. Because hey. you don't know what finger That's is. right. Anonymous, poor fella. Poor fella. Next, he'll be asking her to do him with a strap on on. Then he will be turned <laughs> out and creeping on, on the DL. Better him than me. No, thank you. I don't think that has to go that far. You, know, you just never know what you what. You know, what you're getting into. Yeah, you never know what door is going to be open. It's going to be the back door. Yo, kicking it in. You know, not for the guys. Uh, good rising, Taylor. On yes, guys like it for sure. I have done it to three so far, yeah. and no complaints. Yes, I played with it on the outside and in. One found it uncomfortable, so I said to him, as men say to us, relax, baby, you'll get used to it. Yo, this is my yo, I love her. <laughs> he was good after that. She said, relax, baby, you'll get used to it. Yo, that's so dope. That's so dope. Baby, just relax, you'll get used to it, it's okay. 617-282-0062. Better not bring your kids. Freaky Friday. Waking up with Taylor Andre. We are talking about, I'll put a finger in the butt right now. Should be begging me to cluck right now. Damn yeah, nasty. Shout out to Prince Reg. We got Koss in the building. What's up? What's up? I have to tell you, I heard the original, and the original compares not to your version. Yeah, we went off on the original. We really did. Like, We went in the studio. I had already had my first done. And um, I was just like, yo, I'm just like, I'm, I'm going all the way off on this guy. And so when he heard it, he was just dying laughing. He was like, all right, I got you. So he went out, wrote his verse real quick, came back in. And I was like, dog, you for real? And then uh, we were just in there laughing. He was like, how are we going to get this on the radio? She's like, we come back, we're back, we're back, we're staying. Yeah, yeah. Was, I feel it. That was a process, dude. It's six one seven two eight two zero zero six two. The Rising Call Me Alive. Good morning, Taylor. Hey, baby, how you doing? How y'all doing? So, in my major hype voice, y'all know who major hype is, right? Of course we do. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I have to die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say it again, you got cut off. Baby, baby, love. Hey, I, I'll be feeling some type of way. You know what I'm saying? If she ever did that to me. Listen, we're on West Indian radio. This is like this is this is blasphemous right now. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, just a little bit. But to each his own, you know, but hey, it ain't for me. Have you ever had a female try to do it to you? No. Never, ever. Hey. No, they they never tried it. I don't think they ever asked because they I I don't I don't I don't go back to it like that either because I feel like if I do, then what's the difference between that 
and the man saying the same thing. So I ain't going there neither. So hold on, why even do the mouth? Because uh, a man's mouth and a female's mouth is a mouth. Uh, see that different? No, you got to talk about something else different. No, that's different. <laughs> The island came all the way yeah. out. <laughs> he turned into a different person. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> you too, baby. You too, bro. Six one seven two eight two zero zero six two. I got some more anonymous. I already knew. I already knew when uh we posted this last week that nobody was gonna uh no one was gonna answer this. I knew that was gonna be nothing but messages. I've done it to my ex tongue and everything, but I made her clean her booty real good first. Then she tried and attempted to poke me, but I, I just couldn't do it. Right, fight. No, there is no fighting. Fight her off. Women who squirt from anal fingering is a complete turn on, okay? That's all the transparency you get from me today. Absolutely anonymous. Women who squirt, period, are a huge turn on. Let me be clear. Yes, Hold on. Yeah. I need some of these nurses, doctors, medical students to explain. Can you, is it really possible for you to have an orgasm in the behind? Like, can you? For a woman? No. It, it, pause. Okay. Because men can too, apparently. I know, Prostate I know, rubbing. I know, I know. The, the super squirt. The super squirt of men. I'm just interested in, like, if you're supposed to come from your behind, why don't more people do it? See, like, that's that's crazy. But, um, you know, we were talking about, um, you know, those certain websites. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It goes down on there. I'm not speaking from my personal uh, It sounds like it. It sounds like it. Judgment free. Hold on. I'm looking. I want to. Um, somebody sent me a link. So I'm looking up. Ain't no. Anal sex, and that's sodomy, isn't it? Is that illegal in Massachusetts? I know it's illegal in some. Mm -hmm. Go jail. You're going to jail now. So there's a man. Oh, you know what? Thank you, anonymous. So I want to remain completely anonymous, and please delete this message after you're done reading. Absolutely. I have played with my prostate while playing with myself before, and have found it really pleasurable. But can anyone achieve orgasm through massaging the prostate alone? If so, how do you do it? And it's something that I've been trying to find out for a while now. And time to get a medical book. Like, watch a movie. Ah, uh, okay. No. Well, I'm trying. Let's find the answers, Sway. I'll help you find the answers together. Because I don't have the answers. <laughs> 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 but together we can find them. Together we can learn. Six one seven two eight two zero zero six two. Good rising, calling you live. Hi, good rising. Good rising. Um, no, that's this is out of control. I don't know. I don't want to be biased, but females tend to have different urges than than men. Men only think. I feel for myself one way. That's an exit, not an entrance. But I have no idea how anyone can achieve, not any, I don't know how any species could achieve that kind of orgasm. I don't even think, I don't know if um, animals do it, but I, I completely disagree with Abel. I just don't, I don't see it working for anybody. Hmm. Ain't on you or ain't on the woman? Ain't no period? Yeah. He said he doesn't agree. Oh, no, ain't no period. No, ain't no at all. So no ain't no beads? Nope. No work. That don't work. I know it definitely shouldn't work for a man, but hey, you know the world we live in today. And it's, it's like you said, it's a sensitive topic for callers to call into. I mean, it's kind of sensitive. It's risque. He said it's a sensitive, sensitive area. area. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't care. What don't we ever put people on the spot? But you know what? Anonymous is, is blowing. Yo, Anonymous has no problem with being honest. So. I was about to say, your Twitter fingers on overdrive. Yeah. 
I love it though. I love it when anonymous says reply because the but amount of like transparency. If you can, if you can explain to me, tell us. Uh, for all, I don't. I know you don't speak for all women, kind. All women oh, have shit. to be urgent. Yeah. How does that work for a woman? Yeah, so as a female, I would have to say that I don't have urges for you to put your finger in my butt. But has it happened before? It has happened before. Okay. So I'll just be the <laughs> this is a judge free zone. No, no, no. It has happened before. You're in the car, I'm judging. I did enjoy it. And the whole milking of the prostate, I must have a prostate because I was definitely milked. What? That's the way I stole it. That's the way I stole it. And that happened to him. I was like, what? If that's the case, I might just die and prostate him. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak that into your life. Don't say that. Hold on, time out, pause. For all the men listening, if you knew you had prostate cancer and the only way that they could cure you is by milking your prostate, would you? He said he'd rather die of prostate cancer than have his prostate milked. I think it better be all females in the room because I, I listen. I'm a very prideful dude, man. I think a lot of men are prideful. And that's why yeah. none of y'all want to call up here and admit that the chick that licked your booty before, try to put a little finger in it. And not just you, I'm talking about all y'all. All y'all listening, Taylor, no, no, Adela, not here. I'm too big for all that. My butt cheeks are that big. Uh, are you serious? Did you really just say yeah, that? Man. <laughs> Tell me, I ain't no little skinny dude. Like, how I look like with some girl with her, her face and my butt cheeks. Like, nah, that ain't happening. I can't even look you in the face after that. Like, you just put your, your face in my butt? He said, yo, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a no-go. They... Yeah, man, for real. I hope you have an awesome day, baby. Love and appreciate you. 617-282-0062. I already know that you're not going to call up here. We have Koss in the building. We What's were playing up? his song. Um, um, I feel it. What's the name of the song? Fade. 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 Yes, yes. It's an amazing beat. We've been playing it all week long. And... We have Prince Rich on the second verse, and he said, I'll put a finger in a butt right, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. He wasn't playing. He was like, really? Take his finger. Turn to die. Oh, no. <laughs> I wish I could see this face. Yo, shout out to YouTube watching right now. If you want to uh, head over to YouTube, it's on my Google Plus, T A Y L A A N D R E. Or you could ju just wait until it's uploaded on Google. I'll put a finger in the butt right now. Wait a minute. Have you ever put a finger in a butt at any time? What happened? Women, have you ever tried to? And did you get hit in the face? I know this is West Indian radio, so they're like, listen, I don't even know why she's even bringing this up. I'm about to change the channel because I'm, I'm feeling violated just hearing this. Just hearing it. Good rising, call you alive. Uh, good rising, my dear. Yes. Good show every morning. Thank you. Uh, such a pleasure. Um, I know this is West Indian radio, but I really feel that people need to express themselves sexually in any way they feel comfortable. Um, we have bodies. We need to use them. And for somebody who has achieved great orgasm, pain, um, it's not a bad thing. None of my boyfriends would let me because they're so like strong and masculine, but right. I'm pretty sure if I <laughs> got the endeavor on that, it would be a great experience. Thank you. Somebody's gonna be on. She said I never was able to experiment, but <laughs> 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 I know if they would have let me do it, they would have loved it. I just don't my own experience because I've, I've extreme pleasure. And I can't I'm sorry for the last caller that he's so against it. He's definitely missing out. Sorry. Woo woo. So do you think men would actually go ahead and die of prostate cancer because they have too much pride to just let it be milked? They'll die. I mean, they still orgasm regularly, I bet. So I don't think it'd be a problem. Mm. I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Men, if you had you had two options. You have prostate cancer. You can either get it milked or you could just get this chemo. Which one? You're going to get it milked or you're going to get this chemo? 
you're going to get it built. It's going to be a lot less painful. <laughs> that is true. That's, that's a hard one. That's a, that's a, you, that's why a hard are thing. you even thinking about this, Cops? Get milk. You're about to <laughs> nut out the butt. Like. Hey. All right, you know, we're cutting this short right now. Time about go. They're calling me from work right now. Kids are calling me. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? My kids are feet. I'm gone. Oh, my sneakers. Tie these laces. Thank you, awesome. thank you for your honesty, baby. I know. I thank you. I love you. I appreciate it. You know, I know you guys don't like to be transparent, but I was just transparent. I told the truth. I probably said the truth. Yeah, somebody has put their finger in my butt. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I was milked. My prostate was on fleek. Can somebody else please be honest? I don't want to be the on, the only honest person. One or two. One. Uh, One. Hold on. Let me send the text message. Maybe it could have been two. I don't know. Two. Two. You never know. <laughs> I was drinking. <laughs> no, I was sober. You were sober. Listen. Okay. So, cops. I right, go for it. Let's go. I. Been transparent on the show when we did in the kick and she back door. Yes. I was the one who said yes. I have done it before. It's a 29 second pain. Like after that 29 second, you're throwing it back. So for 29 seconds, you're like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. And then on that 30th second, you're like, oh. For real? Tell me the twerking. Tell me the twerking right now. So you went through 29 seconds? 29 seconds. It's a 29 second threshold. And then, and then that, that 30 second, you throw it back. You was all up. Throwing it back. I, I, I can almost guarantee you can time it. 29 seconds of pain and then that's accurate oh my god so that's much accurate. pressure pleasure and you liked it. i loved it See? but it's not something you can't do it like even once a year it's like something you have to do once every blue moon what like, you can't do it all the time a holiday special it, absolutely uh, it's like lunar eclipse special. <laughs> oh, blood moon. Yeah, you have to get your yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get your whole body mind experience ready for it. Once it maybe once a year. See, there's those ladies out there. Yeah, do it on a regular. On a regular. And in those movies we were talking about, it's like I'm like, how is it that big? You see some stuff. You see some stuff. You see some stuff in real life. The beads start popping out. Like, That's a good that? one. Yeah, beads are amazing, especially the ones that can gradually get bigger. We have callers on the line that want to be transparent. Six one seven two eight two zero zero six two. Good rising, calling you live. Good morning. Good rising. Good rising. Oh, I I do believe that um, if even a car, even a car, when somebody make a car, the only Thing that can go through the stage pipe is great matter. So when a car gets bad, something goes wrong, you got to change that stage pipe. So there's not supposed to go inside, everything goes out. So there ain't nobody gonna pick nothing up by because I'm We're West Indian Radio. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> so, West Indian Radio 101, I think you speak for. Most, if not all, of the men listening right now. That's right. You ain't putting no banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> <laughs> because that's that's that not that always what it's supposed to go. If it's bad, it goes to the tailpipe. And it, and God made man, God made animal, and he made an exit and a entrance. So why would you try to put something inside you? You can't service the car by that. You can't service the it's like that. So why would you put something up there? Yo, that's that's real. That's real. That is real. Don't put nothing up there. Not on no man. Not on no man. No. To be something passing through, going back, going out. Hold on, I have a question. Do you kick in Shibak door? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't kick into the back door. <laughs> what come me? What come me? What come? So never, you've never kicked in she back door. Never, never. I was by the same day at twenty. Ah, okay, I understand. Me to really see people doing that made that made man, and he put their mouth for them to eat some, and whatever go through them mouth go down and circulate through their body and go out. Get one head. 
one exit. Thank you, baby. I love and appreciate you. I hope you have an awesome day today. We have another call on the line, 617-282-0062. Good rising. No man, I play number two. So man, I already lead no picture. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love y'all. I love you. 617-282-0062. I need some more transparency. I am to remain uh, anonymous, Taylor. But yes, I have done it. I have done it and I have done it. I have had it done to me and I have done it to others. It's so dope. It's so dope. People just need to live. It's crazy. Good rising call, you live. Nothing up my room, baby. Nothing up my room. Hold on, can I, what about just rub it? Can she just rub it? Can she just lick it? No, 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 no. Not, not my rub. I'm not rubbing to the skin. Aw, oh, man. Not even just a little bit. You ever kick in she back door? Never, ever. West Indian radio, y'all. This is me. <laughs> <laughs> I love and appreciate you, baby. I hope you have an awesome day. Good rising, calling your life. Hello? Hello, good rising. Baby, call back. I think you thought it was you and we were talking to somebody else. Good rising, call you live. Hello, how you doing? Super fantastic, how are you? I'm cool. Um, I know, <clears throat> I don't know what it is about some you know, some women has that, that fantasy of trying to do that to men, but uh, I don't think that's cool, but <laughs> Yo, get real try, personal. Try, try, I don't try it, but I got a significant Want to try that with me, and I was like, she broke up with me. She said, You gotta put your manhood aside, you just don't know. That gives you like the most girl. orgasm for men. The you know, we women or women do that to a man. Well, I was like, um, Nothing because I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not DJ or nothing like that. I'm straight. Well, it has, I'm not gonna call you back. I, You are 100% anonymous, absolutely. But she saw him. And made by my booty. She said, I got a cute little booty. Hey, hey. But at the same time, I said, I like that. I like you like what you see, but at the same time, I don't back up to something like that. But what is the, what is that? Like, I don't get it. Like, what is the, the pleasure out of that? I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not in front. I've done that. I know I'm West Indian also, too. And we West Indian men have this kind of pride, but. I have kicked in the back door a couple of times. And it, it, the only difference is it's just a little tighter. Just got to put some lube, man. Just lube, lubricate, man. Just lube. Vaseline, baby oil. You know, if you want to use the uh, lubricants for cars and stuff like that, spray it all down. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, but listen, 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 baby. You said that you've kicked in the back door a few times. So you know how she responded, right? And you know, you you know what happened once you kicked it in. So if you did it a few times, you liked it the first time, I guarantee if you just let me put a finger in your butt right now, I guarantee. No, just a little, just try it. Just a little pride aside. Don't, don't fall for that, yo. Don't do that. Try, try. Nah, that, 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 that. I can't, I can't, I can't do that. Right. He turned into the dog. <laughs> mm, that's a no-go. I can't do that. I don't know what it is that amazes her about trying to do that to me, but at the same time, it's like, um, I don't think I can um, let that happen. Well, I hope one day. I don't know about that, man, but no, but I've done that kicking the back door a couple of times, like I said, and it was, it was different. Have you used a thing? Have you stuck your finger in her butt before? No, no, I haven't. No. Say it again. Why not? No, nah, I won't do that. Sure. Because even you, you visualize with all that extra stuff, I mean, you don't want to do that because you have that vision in your head. So it's like, no, nah, I can't I can't do something like that. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> you know, other tools and you know, the other stuff you use, stuff like that. But, you know, I haven't. He's talking plugs and beads. Plugs and beads, man. Well, thank you, baby. Thank you for your transparency. Love and appreciate you. 
Let me get to anonymous because these messages are ridiculous. As a female, I don't have any urges for anything to go in my butt, but it has happened. And once I go through the uncomfortableness, it actually did feel good. See, I'm trying to tell you. However, I know a guy that I work with that is open and honest about liking booty play with his wife. And we actually talked about it. And he says, after being in a relationship for years, it gets boring. So they got to add extra fun. He says that he will never let her penetrate, but he does let her rub on it and lick on it. And he loves it. For her, he penetrates, licks, and does it all. He's Puerto Rican, though. I swear, if you want total transparency, you got to talk to Puerto Ricans. They are openly freaky. Or Cape Verdeans, boo. Dang, put y'all out there. That's okay. That is perfectly okay. We got a call on the line, 617-282-0062. And then I got a bunch of inboxes. The Rising Call of your life. Yes, uh, you know, people who does that, right? They, they say that bisexual. But I don't think it's bisexual. I think it's trisexual. <laughs> They might want to do it to the hole, so if it's a pan with a hole, a bottle with a hole, a tire with a hole, whatever I'm a hole, they might try it. So I don't think that's bisexual. I do not find that. Try sexual. Try sex. So many different things to try. And I take it that you are not a trisexual. No, man, I'm not. Never, ever look at it for me. Well, I thank you for your transparency. Love and appreciate you. I'm, I want one man to call up here and admit. Just one man. You can block your caller ID. What is it? Star 69? Star 67? I forgot. It's been so long since you I... put the, the screen joint. The childish thing. Change the voice the whole time. Hey, whatever you got to do, I want so one man to admit. Because these inboxes, they admitting all in the inbox. All right, so... Oh, that was James. I know. I knew it was a sweet the other day. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, women who squirt from anal fingering is a completely turn is a complete turn on. No angle anal fingering causes vaginal squirting for some women. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what I was talking about with the the, the, with the, what? the body sites. Seen that joint is on the side. Never mind. Are you serious? Yeah, man, I Anal fingering can like, cause a, vaginal squirting. Dude put the finger in the butt and then it was like a, a like stream. A crystal shower. I was like, oh, sweat. You know, crazy. Really? And it was an HD. <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. All right. I've done it to my ex, tongue and everything. Uh, if I had prostate cancer, most... Blacks have higher risk of prostate cancer than white men. Message. I'm, Message. I'm, I'm need, I'm need chill nah, there's a bunch of anonymouses in here. Butt pirates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> he said, I, I choose chemo. I choose chemo. Oh, Lord. Um, Got milk? <laughs> no, we don't have milk. Listen. 100% transparency. I loved it. You'll love it. Just try it. Try sexual. Can you keep my comment anonymous? Of course, baby. Everybody's anon anonymous. I'm a Scorpio. Tried some wild stuff in search of pleasure. Tell the guy to have his no... Tell that guy to have his no better word freak his girl because he'll never look at her the same. When I was maybe 23 messing with an old Greek female she happened to slip her tongue in my culo on my mama he's all oh, my mama i felt like <laughs> he ascended into heaven he said on oh, my mama i feel like i ascended into heaven i tell the story to my boys without shame amazing stuff haha -ha, anonymous for real people minds ain't that type of open that's crazy you got to be like, you he said on oh, my nice. mama i ascended into heaven so like you just rolled the seven you no, she licked it. She licked it? Yeah. She gave him a better job. Is, that, is there a word for that? Other than tossing salad? I get, I, yeah, I get a lot of my um, anal jokes from South Park. Rim jobs. Hold on. Morning. Yes, Taylor. I agree with you 100%. Finger in the booty makes the JJ wet. Me and my husband try everything. I must say, though, I... 
licked my finger and put it in his butt once and he loved it. His performance after that was like I was in heaven. I'm trying to tell you. That's crazy. I already knew that this was going to come through. Like, as far as the anonymouses, nobody wanted to admit this. I knew nobody wanted to admit it. Ain't nobody going to admit that. Come on, Cos. You have to have some stories. Ain't nobody going back. Tell it. No, I'm talking about you. Oh, throwing this? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, brother's done that. You know what I'm saying? First time it was a little awkward. I was in like high school. You know what I'm saying? Do it. It was a little, it was a little wild. Uh, she kind of ran from it a little bit, and then we kind of worked it out, and it was cool. Um, it's okay, baby. You'll be used to it. Yeah, it was like, go ahead, man, just relax. You know what? <clears throat> you do, I, I'm going to be transparent. You got to talk me through it. Like, you can't just be like, group. No, you have to talk me through it. Like, it's sort of like, pet me like a dog, caress me. <laughs> it's okay. That'll, that'll it's going to be all right. That'll warm you up. Exactly. See, Those thirty nine seconds is is oh, twenty nine seconds are horrible. Yeah. Horrid. We got some more callers on the line. Hey, they call him privately too. I don't have your number on the call ID, boo. Six one seven two eight two zero zero six two. The rising caller, you live. Hey, baby, how you doing? Good. Hey, you and I spoke yesterday as I was passing through town. And we had a conversation, uh, <laughs> turn the show around a little, but I think you were very gracious. Mm. And in fact, I, I think you were probably extremely sincere. And if you recall, the subject was about elevating the conversation of your radio show. Okay, so before you cuss me out, I want to inform you. I'm not going to cuss you. I just said to you, I feel as though you're probably an extremely sincere young lady, and uh, the way that you treat your cus- your 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 callers, I, I think that you're probably a wonderful, wonderful young lady, and I mean that wholeheartedly. But the only thing I'm saying is, I came into Boston yesterday and I listened to Here comes the bullshit. really low dialogue, <laughs> and now I'm leaving and I'm listening to probably the most ridiculous dialogue and although at a party of with some beers and whatever else might be fun but I, I think you know you have a talent and you're fortunate enough, fortunate enough to have a venue on the ear for discussion and this is the subject matter i get the freaky friday thing i get the whole nine yards not a stick in the mud but don't you think honey that you could have find some other subject matter to elevate the conversation so monday through friday we have motivational monday and then throughout the week we i don't you come in and out of boston and one of the things that so i spoke to you earlier but i guess you weren't listening so between 5 30 and maybe 5 40 i had a 10 minute dialogue with just you and i don't think you were listening during that time so let me be clear we have had the governor of Massachusetts. We had had the mayor of Boston. We have had multiple city councilors, city at larges, senators, congressmen. We have had the police commissioner himself. We have very elevated conversations on a regular basis. But when it's time for us on Freaky Friday, better not bring your kids to have these type of conversations. You cannot think for five We. We as African Americans don't have that many platforms. So I am blessed and proud to have this platform. But there are many other platforms that you and others may have on 101 channels. We have one station that we have there. We, we, we combined multiple conversations all the time. Uh, it's not just my show. We could have the police commissioner here between six and seven, and then at from seven to ten, they're talking about Amber Rose twerking. Like we have one outlet that we use for multiple platforms. Good question. Why is it that you have no sponsors on your radio program? Darling, did it? Do you know that we don't have sponsors? Have a forum that's worthwhile. You're yeah. going to draw sponsorship to it. 
So how about this? Let's do this. I would love for us to have a conversation, you and I, because I'm getting a lot of messages. People are like the Freaky Friday vibe is being blown up. We're coming to the top of the hour. How about can you and I talk? Baby, change the channel. If you don't like it, change the channel. If you don't want to listen to us, change the channel. For all those that are currently listening, I apologize if the vibe was killed. But, baby, I would love for you to give me a call after the show is done because you and I can sit down next time you come into Boston and we can talk as long as you want. I'll let you talk until you're blue in the face. I don't mind. And I would love to have that dialogue. You and I, me and you, off air, let's talk about it. We can talk about the sponsorships that I do have. We can talk about the sponsorships that the station does have. But what we're not going to do is ruin Freaky Friday for the thousands of listeners that enjoy and wait for this one day where we can let loose because Monday through Thursday, we're too busy talking about the problems that are taking place and plaguing our community. I hope that was uh, clear enough for you in the English language. Next, Big City 101.3 FM, waking up with Taylor Andre. We got Cos in the building. Shout what's out to up, Prince Rich who couldn't be here. I'll put a finger in the butt right now. Mm. Huh? Sound like a... Uh was upset like he got fisted maybe you know what i'm saying it wasn't one finger two finger three somebody put their old hand in there and opened it lord have mercy i don't know, I don't know. we do have another call on the line good rising call you live yeah i think son needs to just fall back because let's first of all ladies and gentlemen let's give it up for the clear eye for that you know dry eye guy and Let's give it up for Mr. War of Peace. I think that's what he reads every day. Maybe that's why he's so upset. <laughs> Some things people just need to just leave alone. And I guess he's not the kind of guy that lets his hair down. Since you are leaving Boston, I'd like to say farewell. And I have a nice day. What? I love and appreciate you. I hope or you have an awesome one. day. Or Good rising call of your life. Good rising. Good rising. How you doing? I'm telling you, this is Prince Rich. Hey, Prince oh, Rich. Rich! Hey, Prince! What's going on there, brother? Weekend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick. You know, I just want to touch on, you know, the, the dude who was upset about the topic. You know, everybody's, you know, entitled to their opinion, you know, whatever. But, you know, there's, there's a lot of different forms of media and, and radio. He doesn't, he's clearly not an everyday listener. He hasn't listened to shows where you have the governor uh, talking about uh, serious issues and when, when you have the mayor and the police uh, the police chief and all the senators that come on your show um, on a regular basis, you know, and you do go to city council meetings. I've seen you at them and, you know, you, you, you have a... Uh, a, a real good relationship with all of the city council. <laughs> he said he just turned up, you know, so, up. Great. <laughs> you know, he doesn't listen to those shows, and that's cool. But um, you know, if you don't like it, change the channel. Um, who cares about his opinion? But um, yeah, back to um, back to the show, though, man. What's... Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just don't get to talk to Kaz. Uh, you'll put a finger in the butt right now, Prince Rich. You've been putting fingers in butts. Absolutely, absolutely. I'll just shut it in. You know, um, there's got to be some, and it's not just, you know, women or whatever, you know, it's like, you got to have a relationship with the woman, you know, she got to be comfortable enough. But yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm throwing that. <laughs> Hold on. First, he started out while saying. You're just going to, I'm going to massage you first. And you're just gonna, you know, you're gonna be curious, and then you're gonna be like, oh, oh, <laughs> see, going down. Hits him with sneak attack. Oh no! Sneak attack. That's that's. Prince, would you ever kick in she back door? What I mean? What I mean? Of course. of course, I have. I mean, people. There's a lot of there's a lot of men out there that's not gonna admit stuff like this, but it's really no shame. Like, you know, this has been happening for centuries already like like this this is nothing new what's new is talking about it and putting it out in the open you know what i mean and i don't feel like it makes you homosexual at all like there's a clear difference between um a woman and a man like um i i want no part of another man but you know a beautiful woman that's 
you know, the, the, the female anatomy is amazing. It's gorgeous. It's something to cherish. Um, yeah, I'm going all the way in. Lord have mercy. You know what? We, we're going to end it right there because we, we, we do have other callers on the line. We're coming to the top of the hour, and I'm, I want to be respectful of everybody's time. Cass, I love you. I love you right back, Taylor. Right. Mm. I'll put a finger in the butt right now. Okay, can you guys do me one favor really quickly before we go ahead and come off air? Where did you guys come up with this concept for this song? And um, it's She Wanna. Leave the club early, come okay. back, where the fat boys stay. I mean, come on now. You know what I'm saying? You get all these guys out here in shape, you know what I'm saying, abs. I ain't hating on abs, but I ain't never had an ab in my life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've had the stomach, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he I said I never had an ab in my life. For real. I, I lift weights, I work out, I get on the treadmill every day, every single day. You think an ab would have finally popped up? No, not at all. <laughs> You know, it's dear to fat boy. You know what I'm saying? So you got a gut, you little chubby, yo. Yo, it's, it's our year. Bump that. And hold on. Prince Rich made a reference about a fat boy, too. Prince Rich. I seen the pictures. You don't look like a fat boy, though. Long, long time. Trust me. Uh, I ain't love rubbing on my belly. You know, I get requests all the time. I'm going to start charging. And, uh, <laughs> You know, we're not making no business. But, um, <laughs> you know, I, I tell you, the inspiration, a lot of inspiration for my verse came from listening to Costa's verse. And I just put a little twist on it. You know, I was very open and honest with my verse. And I'm a very sexual person, so I was so open. And it worked out. Oh, you little nasty. That boy, that boy nasty. Oh, that boy nasty. That boy that nasty. Dude, so that killed me when, when, uh, when that anonymous. Uh huh. Uh-huh. We need to ask Puerto Ricans because they are uh, openly free. Yeah. <laughs> I see you concur. We're gonna go ahead and play this song one more time. Can um, Prince Rich, can I get an acapella on your verse real quick? Oh, uh, come on, come on. I'm trying to come on. So can can you do it for me? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I believe we've reached the top of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> you pleaded in the fifth on me, Prince Rich. When the chopper screwed up this early in the morning. Mm, okay, okay. Well, we love you. We appreciate you. We, we hope you have an awesome day. Kaz, yes, anything uh, you want to say to Prince Rich? Yo, bro, good stuff, man. You want to do your thing? I'm going to hit you up a little later. All right. All right. Go ahead and introduce this song. All right, everybody, Boston. This is uh, Fade. Me Cos featuring Prince Rich. This is gonna be on my uh on my new uh my new project, Homeless High Rise. And uh, Homeless High Rise. Uh, homeless high what rise. does that mean? You know. We'll talk about we'll can talk we about we'll have you back? back. We'll have, yeah, I'll definitely come back. Because I love yeah. the music. Yeah, I'll definitely you, you've heard some of it. Hey, yeah. I have, I have. Homeless High Rise. This is Fade, Cos, Prince Rich. Big City 101.3 FM, Waking Up with Taylor Andre. If you like what you hear, you want to hear more, head over to MixCloud.com. We have over 450 shows mm. of inspiration, education, and uplifting the, what he call us? The uneducated, intellectual, unintellectual voter. Mm. For all y'all that are listening, shout out to you. I want to say thank you. He said, hold on, what do you say? Wait, you, so since you're leaving Boston, yeah, have a good have, have a great trip. <laughs> See you later. Big city, I love you. I appreciate you. Mwah, baby. I feel it. I feel it. Gotta put my chains on this one, you know what I'm saying? I feel it. Gotta get flashes, bitch. Gotta get flashes. Rich, where you at? Rich, where you at? I feel it. I feel it. She wanna leave the club early, come back where a fat boy stay. I told her, bring a couple girls for a rich dub, will us and bang. These girls really wanna get nasty, and I don't know none of their names. Wanna drink liquor, smoke good weed, but I'm gonna need a Gatorade. Uh,
lots of heads. Downstairs, dripping about the music and the loud beat smoke. Set down a hundred and the bottle as a you better not snitch no. Live fast, enjoy every moment, cause just last year I was broke. Orange Gatorade ain't my sobriety, why I'm giving out backstrokes. Uh, round one, round two, round three, no bull. You only get two yes, no bull. That's really all you want from me. Your girls at the door, please come to me. Thick thighs, fat butt, slim waist, little bit of tea, but I'm on a boat face. Heard the kitty cat roar when I'm in deep. She would have been asking me. Any time, all the time, cuz. I give it to her, guarantee I mess her life up She says she want me to taste her with my big lips But if I do it, she be begging me to wipe her Baby girl, I put it down I'ma go extra Fly boy, you don't want your girl to get next to the I put a finger in the butt right now I bet you she be begging me to fuck right now Yeah, I'm nasty Yeah, I'm ready for whatever weather day or night I lay the pipe and run the lay it in my lay of pipe Should be wanting to put my clothes Finger in the butt, would you let a girl do it? Have you put your finger on the butt before? Ain't no strawberry bomb, make a wanna. She ain't as innocent as she might seem. As soon as we leave the club, I'ma call her. Yeah, that's right, baby. You know what it is? It's DJ Sus One, the feature presentation. Listen, make sure you wake up with Taylor Andre Monday through Friday, five to seven a.m. on Big City one hundred one point three FM. Wake up with the Radio Rebel. Politics, news, conspiracies. Wake up your third eye with unorthodox conversations leading to universal consciousness. This is the type of stuff I'm into. All right, make sure you tune in. Let's go. This is the champion dial. Big City City. I hope he calls. Yeah. I hope he calls. I was like, who the fuck? Like, Tell me why you don't have any sponsors. Who told you that? You remember this white dude from yesterday? Yep. Old dude? Yep. The one he was coming into Boston and heard, what do you, what do you call it? And I, I, I was like, I was about to move. Do you, I can't tell you how many messages came in. Like, can you please hang up on him? Yeah, I was like, can you like, please sure. hang up on him? Good rising. Good morning, big city. Hey, baby. How you feeling? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm just relaxing in the house. I just wanted to know if I can listen to him. Hi. Oh, head to eye. Kill him with the nose. Kill him with the nose. Just make the boy know you're not blow. Head to eye. Kill him with the nose. And I want to big up, uh, if you can, um, I'm in a little modeling thing, and it's called John Casablanca. And if you can shout them out for me, that would be wonderful. So John Casablanca is a billion-dollar company, and they can pay for sponsorship. So we wouldn't oh, we wouldn't oh. be able to shout them out. We do like little local people that don't have millions of dollars to give for advertising. We shout out like little businesses. But John Casablanca has been around for years and they have a lot of money and I'm in I personally don't have heads high in my um in my uh Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll leave a note for the next crew coming in that you want to hear that but right. then um, okay. Well, what's in your roster? Uh, well, uh, some Bob Marley? Of course I do. I'm, I'm on my way out, though. My show's from 5 oh, to 7. Okay. But I'll, I'll try and find something for you, baby, and put it in for you. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. Have a good day, babe. You too, boo. Turn your lights down. Oh. Mm. That was a fun show. I had fun. Guys. That was. That was. 
Talk about the time you put that. You got your your, your finger on. Uh, you got your butthole finger. <laughs> be transparent. Be transparent, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I'm looking at these I'm like, yo, <laughs> Well, come say bye to you two. Oh man, that joke was funny. This is Cos. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Uh, Prince Rich couldn't be here, but he did call in, and I am so grateful and very appreciative. Cos, where can they find you? Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, your music. Music is on uh, Music Forecast. Uh, no, SoundCloud.com slash Music Forecast. I'm on uh, Instagram at the number four, K A S. Uh, Facebook, Kasim Kas Shavis, K A S I M K A S S H A V I S. Thank you for everybody that listened. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Got the homeless high rise on the way. Um, almost done with the project now. So I'll be back up here to do another interview soon. Um, I'll bring a lot more tracks with me and uh, we're going to make it happen. Thank you very much for everybody. Appreciate you. Yay. So um, as far as Prince Rich, do you know about any of his projects? He's working on his project right now, too. So we're about like six tracks in on his project right now. So. And I think you, you can head over to richwithoutfame.com. That's Prince Rich's website. Yes. Your website. I don't have a website up right Just now. Just SoundCloud for now. We thank you. We love you. We appreciate you. And what? Have an awesome day.